Hi, I'm Kevin Facey. I'm the principal of Meadowbrook High School. This is the Meadowbrook Evening of Art. It's the first time that we're having this event and I'm really happy that we call on various artists, some of whom are past students, to come and share their work with us and with others to inspire and to encourage kids to continue in art. I mean, it's really cool to see that we have not just ceramics, but we have graphic art and print and really creative stuff. And I'm very, very happy. And I hope that we can actually build on it and go from there. from alumni and friends, really highlighting and celebrating how art has pretty much evolved. As an alumni, it is very important for me to even be here to be called back. I've not been here for a long time, and when they called upon me, I had to say yes. And it has been extremely fun attempting to identify all the artists and just how successful the artists who have graduated from the high school, Meadowbrook High School, have really been in their practice. I think it's, it's really important, like I think that it gives up and coming artists and the students a chance to see something of what they can kind of make with the future and you know I wish I had something like this you know when I was here. I'm really excited to be here tonight because we get to see the artwork on display which is very good for Meadowbrook because most of the artwork that is done here was done by Meadowbrook High School's past students which is very exciting. This is rather new for us and it shows us how talented Meadowbrook High School is and I hope that we'll have more events like this coming up in the future. And I must say this even event is awesome. When I see the pieces that has been on display by Mr. Mattis and his team, it could not have been better. All the medieval students learning art. There's no limit. There is no limit. Learn the basics. It's by learning the basics you use that to say what you want to say. It's like the alphabet. I always say this. Learn the alphabet. You learn the letters. You put the letters to make words. You use the words to tell a story and you tell a story to give you experience. So you learn the basic rules and you apply that rule. Now, you don't have to draw. It's not about drawing. It's about saying what you want to say in your own format. It can be jewelry, it can be textile, it can be in education. You know, you have teachers that can draw about how they talk, they inspire, and then you find your own, as I said, true calling. Right? So there's a wide field to it, but you never stop learning and learn as much as you can learn. Because whatever you do, you ain't draw on that knowledge to say what you want to say. <laughs> <laughs>